Hi yogis, my name is Sandra and today's pose is high lunge or crescent lunge. This is a great pose for strengthening your legs and opening up a little bit of space in your hip flexors. So let's get started to see what this pose looks like. Coming up into the middle of your mat, step one foot back, I'll use my left one here first. Make sure that your feet are far enough away from each other here so that you can begin to bend into your front knee, coming into as much of a 90 degree angle as you can. Now this is a neutral posture, which means that your hip points are forward and square. And then you'll begin to sink down a little bit lower here and really feel the burn here into the front thigh. Now make sure that you're coming high enough up on that back toe and you'll feel a little bit of stretch here through that left hip flexor. From here, arms will reach up to the sky, stay nice and high on that back toe, and then begin to sink any degree that feels comfortable for you into your lunge. As you're sinking down here, just make sure that your ribs aren't flaring out or that you're coming into an arch here, but try to knit these ribs in as you lift your arms up and relax your shoulders away from your ears. All right. So I'll just come out of that. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the other side as well, just so that you can see what it looks like when the left leg is forward and this nice 90 degree angle here as we come down. I also like to think about my tailbone rooting down and relaxing my shoulders away from my ear. Stay high on those back toes and breathe. All right. So that is the high lunge. Now this pose is great for transitioning in and out of neutral poses that have hips square as well. So one of the ones that I will offer to you today will be starting in your high lunge. All right, I'll start on my right leg. So from here, moving forward and floating your way into warrior three, keeping hips nice and square. Lengthen forward and back. Find a long line of energy from the crown of your head all the way to your back foot. And then from here, hands will come down underneath your shoulders into an L stand, or if you're feeling flexible, moving into a standing split. And as much as you can, keeping those hips square. Try not to let that left hip open. From there, place your hands back under your shoulders, bend both of your knees as you send that left foot forward and through into a pistol. Maybe your hands will reach forward. Place your hands back down to the ground. Make your way back up into that standing split or L stand. And then from here, a jump switch. So taking that standing leg that's in the air and then switching it to the other side and then step all the way back into your lunge on the other side. Arms will lift, inhale. Pause here as you settle into your high lunge. We'll try the same thing on the other side. So float that back foot behind you as you find your way into warrior three. Lengthen forward and back. See if you can bring this front hip back slightly in space. Reach forward and back. And place your hands to the ground underneath your shoulders, L stand, or if you're feeling open, standing split. Maybe your left hand reaches behind the calf and begin to work that top leg a little bit higher up towards the sky, hips are square. Make your way back down as you bend both legs and scoop that right leg all the way through into a pistol like squat. Maybe arms reach forward. And hands under shoulders, make your way back into your L stand. And here's that jump switch again. If you're feeling ready, you might find a little bit of air time into your handstand as you switch to the other leg, slow as you can coming down, right back down into your lunge. Try that one more time on each side, flowing through. Back up, jump switch. High lunge. Warrior three, standing split. Pistol squat. Back up and through. 
jump switch. I lunge. All right. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you have a really fun time trying out your crescent lunge. Namaste.